All right, so I wanted to make a quick video to demonstrate dictionaries, a uh, wall lookup dictionary specifically. I've done videos in the past on dictionaries, but they're a topic that comes up pretty often, so I thought I would do a video on it. If looking up walls by name is interesting to you, check out the rest of this video. So we are in the Revit advanced sample project, kind of a typical project that I use for things like this. We'll just go ahead and open up Dynamo. In my case, I'm in Revit 22 and Dynamo 2.12. However, these dictionary nodes work all the way back to 2.0, which is compatible back for a few Revit versions. So in the Dynamo library, we do have the dictionary category. This allows you to create a dictionary, which lets you look up items by a given value. So there is a create node, so we'll go ahead and place that right now. For our dictionary, we want to look up walls, wall types, by their name, given the keys and the values. So the easiest way to collect all of our wall types in our project would be to go to selection and find the element types node. And in our case, we'll search for wall type. And we will do all elements of type for that as well. We are in run automatic, as you can see in the bottom left. So I am getting these results right away. Let's see here. So for wall type, we have all of our selectable element IDs at this time. The easiest way to get these names would be to search for a node called element.name. The out of the box one will work just fine in this case. So we are able to use that. And I have Monocle installed for cleaning up nodes as I'm working. Uh, I'll include a link to Monocle below if you're interested in it. Just helps you clean up your Dynamo graph. So we have all of our wall type names available to us at this time. So the easiest way to use this would be to go ahead and use this element name as our string key and our values would be our wall type. So we now have made a dictionary that looks these items up by that name and it will retrieve them. To test this, if we go to the dictionary category, the value at key node will actually retrieve that wall type by name. It is case sensitive, so what we'll do is we'll type in a string node and we will type that should be right to look up that generic wall type. So now as I change this, it will retrieve that wall type based on that name. If I were to type in something that doesn't exist, it will error out, so keep that in mind. Oftentimes when I'm building dictionaries like this, I will convert it to lowercase or something like that just to make it easier. That would mean that you'd have to convert the user's entry into lowercase as well. But if you were to have a list of wall types in here, this would retrieve each one of those with that same node. Once again, Monocle lets you combine some of this stuff. So if we were to annotate this graph, we would come in and say that this gets all wall types in current project. And then this portion would actually build a dictionary to find wall type by name. And this is where the actual lookup would happen. So lookup wall type by name. Very quickly, we are able to do that. This would be an input for a user perhaps if you wanted to input several, or you can just use a value from Excel or whatever you're using. Uh, so really quickly, that's how you build that. Bonus points for getting rid of this element types node because if you were to embed this in a graph, this can change between Revit versions or files. So I tend to just use this little recycle icon from Monocle to automatically transfer those out. So when you do that, it does hard code that wall type for you. So that way it won't change on you between Revit versions. Uh, so just to zoom out and screenshot it, that is how you build a lookup dictionary for wall types. So there it is. Hope that helps out.